Hey guys, it's your boy Karki. Welcome back for another episode of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. So last time we uh, had our little adventure with uh, Daddy Daycare again. Hey from. Uh, we beat up or killed Benjamin Church and then we went and found out what was happening at Monmouth. Uh, obviously uh, George Washington set out for everyone, for the Patriots to go and attack um, Connor's village. So we went there and then we found out that uh, Charles Lee had taken uh, our brethren to go and fight. So we had to go sort them out and then we ended up killing our, killing our best friend. We must hold this what position was a shame. for as long as it takes. If the enemy oh. is allowed to push through. Here we go though. Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Okay. Kill people. Push these red coats back yet? That should slow them down. But us some time, sir. Push these red coats back yet? That should slow them down. Bought us some time, sir. Oh, that's... We'll push these red coats back yet? I don't know how I'm meant to do this. That should slow them down. Look like a group to my right as well. I haven't got enough Patriots yet. for this. Look at this. No, I reckon I'm dead. Oh my god, I don't kill him. Right, I have... Butter some time, sir! I'm going to lose out here. Ooh. That should slow them down. For about 20 seconds. Oh, there we go, we did it. We are low in ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Come on, men! Come on, men! We must pull back! Come on, men! We must pull back! 
Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna make that. Oh god, here we go. We have safeties here. Get back to the others. I will take care of this. Oh snap! I did a double counter! Oh, 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 get fucked! Raffling squad here as well. Done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. <laughs> Connor is telling him to get fucked. I love it. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. As always. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. 
leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. Yeah, that asshole is your dad. <sighs> hey! They're probably holding your father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This is a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come <laughs> with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Well, bad idea. Oh, I just done a double fucking couch again! Oh, 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 this is brilliant. Oh, I've got a fucking hard on. I mean, what? I love the double counters in this. I'm surprised I only just managed to do it now. But well, I guess it's when. You've learned yeah. absolutely nothing since you left us. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Really? Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're going to have to climb the rest of the way. But yeah, it's like box to security. Can't be far. Where the hell is he? Get! I managed to hold on. I killed one guy though. I managed to actually grab hold of something and then save myself then. I love getting this. Go on. See you later. Clearly, 
Oh, is that the right place to go? Okay. Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Well, Not now. Inya is just a robot. Yet, get out! What the hell was that? Put me across. Get out! Get out! Get out! Enough is enough, Mr. Miles. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation. But you responded to my hospitality with only violence. I had hoped we might preserve you and further study your memories. But you're not worth the trouble. I hereby authorize the use of deadly force. Kill the bastard! Then bring me the apple. Got him. <laughs> You're dead now. Don't kill me. I'll let you in. Thank you for letting me in. Oh, cheers. This way. Oh, is this where he uses the apple? Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Boom!
You never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. <laughs> well, we re rescued his daddy now. Why didn't I just start with that when I first came here then? I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. No, I got a power source in. I need to figure out where though. Is it actually right in front of me, I think? I'm not too sure. Oh no, it's up there. Ooh. This way? See if I figured this out then. Oh, here we go. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive. But his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for us. us. Yeah, so that part's dark. Uh, why is it going to go from here then? Okay, so it's definitely not. I've got to somehow find a way to get onto that. She's over there somewhere. Okay. Hmm. I'll figure it out. But at least I know I've got to go this way up here. And then I've got to figure out how I... Is it going to be like this? Cross this way. So I knew I had to go somewhere over there. Is it going to be jump up all the way up to the top? Yeah, there we go. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked our 
ourselves then. What if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered, though, were they right to turn away? Do, do, do. Were they right to turn away? Probably so. I've got to find my way over there, I think. Right. Part of me does enjoy the fact that they tried to incorporate this, like, whole we're going back in the past thing to get to here but part of me is like sometimes I just want to go in and kill more people as fucking Connor or Ezio or Altair Ooh, has that opened it all up now then? I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Okay. Right then, so I guess it's back to Connor then for now. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? Nope. I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Fair enough. Right then, back into the Animus we go. Back to Connor. We go. <gasps> Hopefully we get to fuck up uh, Charles Lee. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Later. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation. No. Through it. Peace. I love how the axe is still in the wall. Connor, he's asking for you. Can I go check all... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, kill you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. 
They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. <laughs> oh, who's the Admiral? I'm trying to think who that is. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Okay. I like it. But first of all... No, that's not Whistle. I'm going to see if I can change my outfit. Because there's shit tons down downstairs. I actually haven't been down here apart from when we first get there, so Oh Because look at all the outfits that you see down here. There's just this one on the left here that you can't see. But like you got Arno's, what is from, uh, is that, a, ooh, which Assassin's Creed is that? Is that Syndicate or Unity? Edward Kenway's, obviously Black Flag. And Jacob Fry's? Sir Jacob Fry, Master Assassin of the British Brotherhood. So that's either Unity or Syndicate. I can't remember, I've not played Syndicate or Unity. Let me know if it's any good. I have no clue. Ezio's brother, uh, what's it? Assassin's Creed 2. Shay Cormac. Oh, it's Cormac. So he is a... Uh, that's Rogue. Bayek. I'm guessing that is... Uh, not Odyssey. Um, what's the other one called? you got Odyssey Valhalla. What was the other one called? What was the other one called? So... Let me go through them. Brotherhood Revelations. Assassin's Creed 3. Black Flag Rogue. Syndicate Unity. Odyssey... Valhalla. Now we got the Mirage. I can't remember the one for that one. So I don't games with an O as well. Oh, there we go. We can put that one on. Okay. Nah, I'm not, not keen on it. I'm not keen on it. Nope, not keen on it. If I was going to wear any ones, I actually think it'd be Shea Cormax. Ag Aguilar. Ooh, whose is that one? Alexios, that one's from... What's it one? Um, 
the Greek one, what I believe is Odyssey. But this one is one, one where it's in Egypt, and Bayek says, and I cannot remember, I do like that. Right, we're sticking with that one. Oh, could I? Outfits. Oh, I need to buy, that New York one looks really good though. I wish you could buy that. Still, I don't know Bayek's. The Egypt one, yeah. Can't think of the name. And it's going to batter me head until I do. I, I don't know why. Part of me wants to say Oblivion. Assassin's Creed Oblivion. Or something like that. It'll come to me eventually. It will come to me. Right then, do I need to get down to the ships? I do. Let's go, run, let's go have a run down there. I'm actually wet. I actually might play Rogue as well, you know. Rogue was a lot of fun when I, when I played that one. Oh. It will come to me sooner or later. Could it be Oblivion I am thinking of? It'll come soon. It'll come to me. Uh, Origins. Is that it? Origins. I think it's Origins. If it's not Origins, then... But yeah, Oblivion or Odyssey. Uh, Origins. There we go. Dead ones. They're the badges. Okay. Oh, what's that there? The chase. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to do our storyline. Chesapeake. Okay. Promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship in a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Let's go. I probably should have upgraded my ship, shouldn't I, as well? Probably would have been a good idea. Want to all my zone yet? Haha, <laughs> managed to do it.
Oh no, that was too... That was really bad. <laughs> One more to go, where is it? Just behind me. There we go. We have a man of war come at some point, aren't we? That was too easy. I might die here. I want to get these three done. Get these three out of the way here. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Got him. Yeah, yes, got him. God. Oh, 
<laughs> I think I'm getting die here. I can't seem to escape it. Very low health as it is. Right, we'll swap, we'll swap, we'll swap. Oh no! Come on, get the turn, get the turn, get the turn! Yeah, we got, we got seven out of eight. All right. Oh, we need to be careful. This one behind me. the left hand side of it. Give for me. No, okay. Oh, they're dead. Right. What? Trying to attack me. Oh, come on! Come on, they get closer. They're trading blows at the moment. Oh god, that took me forever. Go left, go left. To the next encounter. Oh shit. I could be in some trouble here. I could be in some deep doo doo.
Let's look at my health. Does that, does that go up slightly? Because I'm not too sure. Until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. Oh, shit. We got ourselves a man of war. Let's go. There you go, done. For some reason, my control went to the right and then I got stuck. That was annoying. You mad bastard. <laughs> Here's our reinforcements. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. <laughs> Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite! <laughs> right, the Battle of Chesapeake is now done. Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? We 
Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. Then guys, this episode was a bit longer than the normal 45 odd minutes in the video. <coughs> but thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and let's get into Fort George in the next episode. Peace out, boy.